Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. Uh, we're in the second week of the self-isolation in the coronavirus lockdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to curl your hair and put some kind of beach wavy curls in there. Uh, for this you're going to need some straighteners and some hair clips. For those of you that don't have these, hair bobbles are fine. You can use those just to tie bits of hair up because we are going to be moving hair out of the way. I've washed my hair this morning and um, dried and prepped it so we can get straight into it because no one wants to watch me dry my hair. Boring. Um, so the products I've used on my hair today are the Wella Lux Oil. Um, love this. Use it all the time, daily. Um, it's so good. In this one product, it basically protects the keratin inside your hair. It reconstructs damaged areas. Um, and it protects it from the root right down to the tip from outside damages coming in. So this is such an important product. Everyone should use oil on their hair. It does so much in one product. Um, I do recommend professional oils as well because obviously they're going to work better. The better quality ingredients in them all as well. I've also used um, a heat protect spray. Uh, this again is Wella. Um, it protects your hair up to, I think, 220 degrees Celsius. Um, my straighteners and most straighteners are around 185. So this is fully, you know, this is really fully protects your hair as well. So two really important products to be using on your hair if you're using heat products. So let's get to it. Okay. When you see us hairdressers do this to you or other people's hair in the salon, you'll see us do it completely different. Um, we are trained. We've learned how to do it. We take more sections, um, probably use a comb a little bit more. I am really watering this down to make it as easy as I possibly can for you. So forget all that. Just listen to what I'm telling you. So we're going to take big sections at first just while you get the hang of it um, and then as you practice more and start doing more and start feeling a little bit more confident about what you're doing you can take smaller sections it will create more curls um, but for now let's keep it simple so I start off by taking two sections of hair and clipping them out the way okay okay like that so you're left with this bit at the bottom. So this is going to be your first section, okay? Now it's going to be quite hard to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to try and make this as soon as, soon as I get around the, the side, you'll see it better, okay? So I'm going to grab a section. Now there is quite a lot there. It's probably about an inch square, but that's fine for now, okay? So straighteners. Now people make the mistake of starting at the bottom and rolling up, right? That's, it doesn't work, then you just create a bend. So what you do is, and watch your ears, you start at the top, don't go too skip, and then you clamp it closed, twist, and pull it down the hair, and it creates this, you see? Now just leave that alone for now, grab another chunk of hair, and at the root, clamp, Twist once and pull down to the ends. Okay, and that gives you another one, right? And you can go in at the other side. Now this is harder because it's finding the angle of your arm. So you always need to be making sure, oh, where's the hair? That you twist in, watch the heat on your fingers and pull in. You will burn yourself, everybody does. Um, it's hard with the mirror. So your next section is bigger. Take that now. I'll be able to show you easier on this. Okay, so first section. In at the root. Twist. And glide down the hair. I'm slowly twisting as I'm doing it. See, there you go. And it creates that. Next bit. In, twist and pull. Next bit. In at the root, 
clamp, twist and slowly pull down. Okay. Now everyone will say, oh, you make it look so easy and it's not. It's just playing with it. Even if you think it looks messy, it's not. Messy look is good, it's in at the minute. So we can figure that out at the end, don't worry. Next bit. See, I'm really taking big sections here. In at the root, twist and pull. And then when you get to the back, it gets hard because you can't quite see what you're doing without 10 million mirrors around you. So you just kind of have to pick at the hair and keep doing it, okay? So last bit on this side. See, my sections are massive, you see what I mean? And obviously, I do this all day, every day, so I can probably do it a lot quicker than it's gonna take you. Don't think you can do it at my speed. Top, twist, pull down. This side is the easy side because obviously doing it on myself, I am right-handed. So I find it far easier, as you'll find when you're doing yours, to angle your arm and your hand in there. It's creating this kind of wave. Okay, so that's one side done. And I can see a bit there that I've missed. We'll just quickly curl that one in. Right, and then you move on to the next side. So again, big section. Now, like I say, this is the harder side. So watch your face when you're doing this. Now you can, if you find it easier, go up and do it exactly the same way. So clamp, twist and pull. It's making the same effect. It's just probably a bit easier and you probably won't burn your face while you're doing your ears while you're doing it this way. Next section. Clamp, twist and pull. Clamp. Twist. 
and pull. Twist and pull. Okay, last section. In at the root, twist and pull down. the root, twist and pull down. My last bit. And there we go. Right, so now you're left with all these pieces. So what you could do now is gently just tease them out. Don't brush it unless you're brave because you will get these fluffy and sometimes you see us brushing them, but we can work, kind of work them back to where we need them be. Run your fingers through it. This will separate the curls up as well. You see, it creates that lovely curl. Then again, your oil can come back in. So tiny, tiny little bit of drop of that like tiny like that's how much i use rub it all in work it in warm it up soften it and then you literally can go through the ends only do not go on the roots you're just going to end up with a greasy patch work it through with your fingers and that creates it a little bit of shine tease your fluffy bits down and that's it that is how you curl your hair. Now, don't try too hard, okay? Because sometimes when you try too hard, it goes wrong. You're worrying too much and you end up, ah, it's not going right. The trick is just do exactly what I've shown you. In at the roots, twist and pull. If you have straight bits in there, it doesn't matter, you know, because it's the look. It's that bouncy, wavy look. So give it a spray if you want to spray. Um... If not, you know, you're done. So let me know how you get on, please. Um, and yeah, see you again soon. Bye.